My name is Bailey Christian. I am from Jackson, Georgia. I graduated last December with my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. I am currently taking long-term care courses in order to stay eligible for softball so I can play my last season. Throughout the duration of my college career here, I have received multiple scholarships that allowed me to graduate debt-free between my athletic scholarships, my Zell Miller scholarship, Pope Care Given, my leadership, and my nursing scholarships that I received. Um, these have been such a great help, and it's just incredible that I was able to get my bachelor's degree with no student loans, not having to pay anything out of pocket, and I am extremely appreciative. My name is KJ Daniels. I'm a junior chemistry major and computer science minor here at GSW. I am in the African American Male Institution and the GSW Chemistry Club. I was interested in environmental chemistry because at my high school, Sherwood Christian Academy, one of my peers' father, uh, during something we called Shadow Day, actually asked me to shadow under him because I was interested in chemistry at the time. Um, he let me come to Advanced Environmental Technologies where we did basic water quality testing and bacteria testing. And so that's how I also was led to do water quality analysis here at GSW during my sophomore year. Hi, I'm Edith Acevedo. Um, I'm from Leesburg, Georgia. I'm a freshman here at GSW. I'm majoring in biology because I want to pursue my passion in forensics. Um, I've had a passion for it since I was little, just watching all the crime shows growing up. It just something sparked in me. I was actually a Lee County cadet um, when I was in high school, and I did just about everything regarding law. I took um, my law course in high school, and I got my cord for that. Growing up, my parents were like, we want you to go to college, do something that you can get off by five and spend time with your family. and. When I found GSW, I was so excited because it was, not only was it close to home, but they were nice enough, and I'm so grateful about it. They were nice enough to like offer me a scholarship, and with the scholarships, it really helped. My parents only pay a certain amount out of their pocket, the scholarships with the Pell Grants, GSW giving me a scholarship, um, Hope Scholarship. My parents are so grateful. I'm grateful. It's like a blessing in disguise. My mom was very involved in helping us look for scholarships and we applied for them every night. And she told us the worst they can say is no, but you, cannot, you can't get the scholarship if you don't apply. And because of that, my twin sister and myself were able to graduate with no loans, no debt whatsoever. I mean, it's incredible. I'm grateful for the scholarships I received, especially because last semester I wouldn't be able to attend um, and it just really showed me how much scholarships are important for college students and how important those donors are to the college students. And although I may not know any donors personally, they really are impactful on students' lives. And it's something that just both sides, they don't really realize it until they hear about it or they see it happen. Hi, my name is Doug Moses, um, you know, born and raised in Osceola, Georgia. Uh, you know, came to Georgia Southwestern in 1993 and was here for four years and got my bachelor's degree in accounting. Uh, started my career at Malden Jenkins. I've uh, been there going on 24 years. I'm a partner in our governmental practice and uh, it's been great. I was able to get the Hope Scholarship, um, some other scholarships as well. I can't remember some of the names, but, um, but those scholarships were tremendous um, in, in allowing me to stay uh, in school. Uh, actually, um, that my first quarter, uh, my mother had a, a nervous breakdown and had to be uh, institutionalized uh, for several months. And those scholarships helped me to, and the, some of the money I had put back, allowed me to stay in school and also pay her bills while she was uh, not home for like three months. And so, um, you know, receiving scholarships were tremendous. And so, um, you know, that's why it's important to me at this moment, um, as well as in the past, to, to give back to the university to provide scholarships for the next generation of kids. Because I know how hard it was for me, um, you know, financially, um, you know, to attend school. My name's Ben Andrews. I'm from the class of 1980. Um, I 
got a BS in uh, science here before going off to medical college. And I came back here to America's after being in the military and been working here ever since in the emergency department. And I'm a recipient of an alumni scholarship from alumni that were generous enough to help me go to Southwestern. So I want to give that back by giving to this college, this university, so that future students can benefit like I did. Hi, my name is Michelle Gatton Andrews, and I graduated from Georgia Southwestern in uh, 1984, and I got a BA in English and, uh, with a minor in business, and uh, while I don't work for a paycheck, I, I guess I'm a philanthropist. I do a lot of um, volunteer work to help make our community a better place, or my little corner of it, and uh, I too was an, the recipient of an alumni scholarship and it really made the difference in our family finances and um, it was such a blessing that alumni had felt led to give to the scholarship so that we could have a future too. I used to get letters from GSW about, you know, you know, making donations and contributions uh, for various scholarships, but I, I never, I never responded. I never addressed it until uh, Rudolph Patterson, who was my mother's attorney uh, that helped her get her Social Security benefit started, encouraged me to give back, to be involved, not just in, you know, making donations and contributions, but to get involved with certain uh, associations and, 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 and boards. Um, at Georgia Southwestern, so it was, you know, I credit, you know, Rudolph Patterson, he's, he's no longer with us, he's passed a few years back, but he encouraged me to give back and, and I haven't stopped, you know, ever since then. And that was probably in 2003 when I started uh, making, you know, contributions and donations to the university. GSW is a treasure. We're so lucky to have two great schools here in Americas and uh, we want it to stay here, to keep growing, and to attract the caliber of students that we've enjoyed meeting. Well, I think that people um, sometimes mistakenly think that their, their donations aren't going to count unless there are many, many zeros behind them. And we haven't always been able to give as much as we wanted. Over the years, we've tried to increase it, but I feel like every little bit helps. And um, it's just a good thing for the community that we can give back to this community that grew us. Providing scholarships to these students, uh, you know, some, for some, you know, if they didn't receive scholarships, they wouldn't be able to stay in school. Uh, some have, you know, families to try to support while trying to go to college as well and work. So uh, every little bit helps, uh, whether it's, you know, $25, $50, $100, $1, or thousands of dollars. So I just encourage everyone to, to just give back, whether you are uh, a graduate of GSW or maybe you just you live in the community and graduated from somewhere else. Without the scholarships that I had received, I probably wouldn't have even thought about even attending college because with it, the prices, I was so scared that I was going to make myself or my parents go to debt that I was even too scared, but with the help of these scholarships, it really gave me that push like, hey, I'm capable of doing this and I can overcome that fear because I didn't really have to worry about it anymore. It absolutely blows my mind that people who have never met me, never seen me, probably never even heard of me, have invested their money into my education and for me to pursue my dreams and my career and I can't even explain how thankful I am for that.